Um, I'm calling to um, make a proposal that Major League Baseball considering a adopting a new rule um, with a situation that happened with Joe Musgrove where he mm. was ejected from a game. Okay. When a, when a position player went after him. Okay. The, Pitching is 75% of the game. And for a position player to be ejected, along with a, a pitcher, a starting pitcher, that Major League Baseball should consider that that other team would have to replace their pitcher as well. Thanks for the call. I, I'm always welcome to suggestions when it comes to rules that baseball has, especially the unwritten ones being ridiculous sometimes. Well, thank you very much, and you have a good evening. Thank you, too. Uh, my response to that, it makes sense in theory. I don't think baseball will do it, partially because it makes sense in theory. You know, I don't know about you about that, but it's – this is a situation that probably shouldn't have happened in the first place. I, I think we can agree on that. Well, I don't think you need a rule to cover a situation where two people are thrown out of one game at the same time. It just needed to be, it just needed to be handled every, better. Every three years or right. something like that. Uh, and you can't – if if – if on those rare occasions that it happens, you can have people trying to balance out the loss to each team. I mean, pe people are thrown out or they are not depending right. on what they do, not depending on who they are. So, I don't, uh, no, I disagree. I would just prefer that they handle the situation better. I don't think, I don't even think what Josh Donaldson did merited him being thrown out of the game. I don't think what Joe nothing, Musgrove did merited him being thrown out Nothing happened there. Right. No one should have been ejected. I, I didn't see that as being ejection worthy, and no. I thought Clint Hurdle having every reason to protest made total sense to me. So of course, yeah. since he gave him an earful, he's going to be the one that's kicked out. If anybody, if anybody earned the ejection, it was probably Clint Hurdle. <laughs> he was probably the one that actually earned his ejection. The other two didn't, and I, I don't. I, I thought that their interpretation of it seemed a little bit, little trigger happy, so to speak. Forgive the forgive the term, but if for me it comes down to just having a better sense of understanding and judgment for umpires specifically in having that kind of situation. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I'm usually a defender of the umpires. They make mistakes, but sometimes they're a little too sensitive. Agree. That, that's one that can actually be avoided. So what we'll do is we'll take a break here, and we're going to wrap up. We come back. We'll get Gene's final thoughts before we go. Stick around for a couple moments.